On the bottom line, we have the most common type of envelope, with an attack, a decay, a sustain and a release stage. Next up, Thor's global envelope offers two extra features. A delay period that sets a time during which the envelope stays at zero before the attack and a hold stage that determines how long the envelope should stay at the maximum level before the decay stage. With Charlotte, envelope generating has just reached a new level. This powerful device offers nine different stages, five during the attack and decay period, one sustain stage and three more during the release period. Charlotte can also loop the first five stages for extra envelope generating possibilities, including custom LFO creation. Three modes are available for triggering Charlotte. CV only, where the CV inputs on the back panel can be connected to devices like the RPG-8 or a Matrix. MIDI only, where the keyboard or the sequencer notes are used to trigger Charlotte. And the third mode, combining the two previous ones. The duration, final level and curve of each stage can be set separately. Stage 6 only has a time parameter that is used as a delay in loop mode. Here we can see the effects of different curve settings on the final envelope shape. Of course, all these powerful new envelope curves can then be used to modulate all our favorite devices in Reason. Now let's use Charlotte's audio input connectors to modulate the level of the incoming sound with our first custom envelopes. The time setting for a stage represents the time it will take for the envelope to reach the level setting. Here, times are set in milliseconds and seconds, but they can also be synchronized to the tempo in sync mode. To finish this first custom envelope, let's change some of the settings for the three release stages.